Hey guys and welcome to uh, Pokemon Trading Card Game Online episode 13. Uh, I did just battle uh, Bruce Lee 127 and I'm going to battle him again. Uh, but he had a really bad hand uh, so he didn't really develop much and uh, I managed to get a quick win with Victini. Uh, but uh, here's the challenge again. So I'm going to go accept it. Uh, and basically I'm going to be playing him, but uh, for the main reason of this video, uh, I just want to run some ideas uh, past you guys. Uh, how would I, uh, like, a collection video of my collection? Uh, I know a lot of YouTubers do that. Uh, but I don't, I don't really want to be like the same as them, but uh, a collection is kind of like, not really a necessity, but I could use it. So if you guys would like to see that, just please, uh, Hit me a comment or some or a private message. Also, I'm going to be doing more pack openings as I go to uh, Battle Roads. Or not Battle Roads, as it's called. Uh, this weekend. Hopefully, I'll, get the, uh, I'll do well. I might do a video there. I'd, uh, it really depends on the uh, atmosphere and volume and stuff. 20 damage to a... Oof, is that a 30? 40 HP time. I have potions, that means two more turns. Ooh, if he does 10 damage now. Oh, Sky Bridge. Ooh, it's capturing, guys. He's capturing. It's Tails. War Dodo. War Dodo. Uh, stick onto the bench. Come on. Uh, the concern isn't really lying with that. Let's go Outrage. He looks to be playing an Eels deck. He's got uh, Mr. Mime there with the bench barrier. He gets an eel, which confirms my theory. And I get a Blastoise by turn 3, because I didn't have the candy. To bangle you up, because it's most likely an EX is going to come into play. I don't seem to be finding any of the Keldeos in the minute, so I'm doing straight uh, 20s. I do like that in Mulgo, it's pretty good with the Cold family. If you have noticed, I did mention at the beginning of this video, I do have a victory piece. There's for my Victini EX full art, so hopefully that'll do some work after, as as we get into the mid game after I've set up and stuff. Hopefully he's set up. He gets two, up uh, two uh, Rayquaza EXs through the promos. I think. Let's go with the average number twenty damage. Nothing I can do. Guess I'll level ball. Anyway, uh, just before this, there should be uh, an episode uploaded. Seeing about fun week, two episodes a day. I'll try and aim for that. Uh, but uh, 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 I will be doing more of those pack openings in the same location with Kipju and stuff. They have Pachirisu and Axu and Abertic somewhere. But they're, they're, they're hiding. No one wants to be seen. Let's not make that Squirtle catcher bait. Outrage. Once you get a Rayquaza set up and you have like two eels or plus, there's constant damage each turn. Unless you don't have the uh, Keldeo, which he doesn't. Doesn't look like he's got the Keldeo, so he's gonna have to retreat or Fault Stone and stuff that can't rush in, so he's gonna have to retreat twice a turn to actually get that. Or use two Rayquazas in rotation of each turn. Usually, when I do that, I get the Keldeo and use all that. Let's go for another Outrage. We're up to 60 years, 10 damage away, and he's probably going to bring Rayquaza in. Let's see this now. NG Rayquaza. Green damage. I mean, he's going to go and KO, KO me next turn. It's Juniper. That's the first useful card I've got. So I do get the Landorus. Very bang, let's get rid of that. Hey, uh, I have the Kyram. I'm debating whether to uh, ultra pull my Chorus and my Kyram away for a Keldeo. And I think I'm going to do it. Let's get that Chorus and Kyram. Get the Keldeo. Keldeo. 
Let's use this Blastoise. Deluge. To kill the L. It will stop lagging. Outrage. Boom. That's KO. He's going to bring this Rayquaza. He's going to straight attack me now unless he wants to build up the Rayquaza with any energy that he's got. Boom, got rid of my rush around. It's only a prize. He's doing a piss as well. I have an end, so I can just reduce his hand back to what will be five. He's catching in the Caldeo. Now we're KO to Caldeo, so we'll be down to four after N. Not really surprise. Didn't look like he had to catch her to me, but still, never mind. Uh, stick him rush around. That'll do uh, 40 plus various 70, that's 100 per turn. And I've got another one there, so it's 100 here. Well, Hypno. Now clean out my hand, just in time for me to end. Bring him down as well. I don't want to move that Rayquaza. Don't feel that right in receiving in case I get an end. Oh, it wakes up. Well, uh, it's been an interesting game against the Rayu's deck. Uh, but I've played many Rayu's deck of you verb. You probably know this from the last uh, episode yesterday that I did play in a very eels, uh, eels deck. And I lost. It was like fully blinged and stuff. But I did lose. 120 damage KO. Get that in there. Suicune, you can't do any damage to Suicune. Some mirror Suicune. Sweet you, sweet you. We get Juniper, yep, Juniper. Just catching the eel. I'm a bigger threat, so N. Kill the eel. Do not kill the eel, no, never mind. Deluge. So yeah, NGN Sweek instead of Keldeo. Uh, Should pick up the Keldeo now, but never mind. Get rid of that eel. And I did 6 damage, I put 30 on that. So next turn it's 60 damage as well whenever. That's Galaf's catcher. Then he has no supply from the eels. He only has one a turn in the minute, so. So only 120 damage that I'll actually get the chance to do this. <clears throat> then you want me doing a, a maximum 60 damage a turn, and I can survive a couple of turns of that. I just need to bring in Suicune, oh, 30 damage. Yield from Rayquaza? Really? Okay. Well, yeah, actually, thinking about it, that's just me. Oh, he doesn't have, that's bad for me. Do get a Bianca. Uh, that could prove useful actually. Actually, I just. If I can get the capture, that'd be great. Capturing the eel. Uh, Bianca. Uh, Bianca, try and get the capture. Capturing the eel. Hypnotoxic, that's 30 damage. And then, Landers is. Uh, 80. Uh, 60. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Dear. Landers has become extremely overpowered then. Lord Lander, so I got this in public trade. Probably a very bad trade, but I liked it because it's nice and shiny and stuff. But public treat for that one does a hundred and whatever. Oh, I've got two energies onto that. There are juniper actually. Juniper or Bianca. Yep, Juniper. Come on, catcher. It's not looking good. Oh. 
anyway, um, I did get the catcher. So I'll be deluging Genji onto Keldeo. Catcher in the eel. Not the biggest of my problems, I know, but. Oh, wait, yeah, I lost that, didn't I? Sugar bunnies. Whoops. Well, never mind. 30 damage back onto that right closet. Why not? Now, I just need the Hypno. And then. The next turn. If you, you won't be able to get the seal out of the way. Unless he has a switch in his pocket or a DCE. That, uh, that, uh, eel's gone. How much electric does he have in his discard? There's one, two. Two electric in his discard. If I can cut off his supply, that'd be great. Oh. He knows that his eel's gone. See, I can try and silence that Rayquaza. 170 damage in one turn. Well, I need to do 140 damage in one turn. So if I had another fight NG and a water NG, then I'd be able to do it. Actually, I'd do 150 plus 30, 180, that'd be KO. So I just need a, uh, a blend, though. Don't tell me the blend NG I discarded. Well, no. You blend NG still my deck. According to this, still medic. So, uh, I do get a deluge. Watch our deluge on to. Uh, deluge on to Keldeo. 280 damage to the Deluge, Keldeo. Skyler. There, look for the Hypno. Hammerhead. Oh yeah, Mr. Mine. Into your bench Pokemon, okay, yeah. Well. Uh, Mr. Mine did great here, he stopped himself getting two knockouts. So maybe I should invest in a Mr. Mime plan, future funding uh, for Mr. Mime. A whole like education based on Mr. Mime. That should be critical like uh, Mr. Mime funded organizations by the government and stuff. The Pokemon government. That doesn't exist. I don't know why. Uh, does it? I don't know. They have a legal organization. Hmm. Well, this video has been going on for like 40 minutes now. That's 180 damage, that's KO. Bernie was an electric type. Bring in Suicune. Wish I could stop myself getting the um, KO. Hypno. Nothing else I can do. Except from play everything out. Roar Beam. 70 damage. That's 100 damage in a turn. So 100 on that. And 70 on that. Electric damage, uh, electric onto Zapdos. Probably gonna retreat because he uh, won't be able to withstand another turn. Yep, gets the Mr. Mime out. Uh, catch a Rayquaza back into the game. Aurora Beam, 70 damage, knockout. Two more prizes into my, into my uh, hand account. Well, uh, tell me which guys, which is your favourite set? I, I'm just wondering, want to know. 
Uh, a can be from base set to the uh, latest one, Plasma Blast, or any that you've seen that are out to come, like the Battle Boost, something like that, that people have been talking about. But, uh, yeah, personally, my favourite set um, would have to be uh, Rising Rivals, I think it will be from the Diamond Pearl series, it probably will be. So, Rising Rivals. Rising Rivals or um, HS Triumphant, probably. Rising Rivals was just like an overall great set. I never opened a pack of them though. I think I've opened like three packs. No, one pack. One pack of Rising Rivals. Uh, probably didn't get anything, but I still think it's a great set. Unless I'm thinking about something else. But, yeah. So, whatever is your favourite set. This has been a long battle, the last battle didn't last very long because he got a very bad hand, he was very unlucky with that. But, uh, if you do want to go check out his channel, his channel is TH Games. I mentioned that in the last video I recorded, but I seem to have skipped it this one. I'm trying to remember what I said last time. But anyway, uh, his channel is TH Games. So if you go check that out on YouTube, please subscribe to him. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, I'm not doing any more public battles. I'm waiting for the legend is PAF. I will be battling uh, in the next week or so. And heads up to the Gensite competition. I'll probably be uh, uploading the results on Sunday, probably. Sunday is probably the best day to do it. So, anyway, look forward to that if you're entered. And if you're not, what are you doing watching this video? Go and enter yourself. Yeah. Seven cards are left in my deck. Whoops. Whoops. I, just, I didn't touch that. Uh, it's lagging. It's only a bit to go. I can't take damage from EXs. So it is random sparks. I only do 50 damage to one of them. Uh. I hope we do get a uh, result after this. Just waiting. Wow. I'm just waiting now. Waiting, 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 waiting. Full art Landorus, full art Vatini. Victory piece, there we go. Something wrong. Hmm. There's something wrong. Let me go see what it is. Let's see this. It's one prize each, that means we're on to uh, sudden death. Which I've never been in sudden death before. Uh, I've been into like two prizes each, where it's like an EXKO. It's an EX game, we all add EXs out. So I guess that's a, a sudden death of some kind. Whereas the next knockout wins. But apparently we're. Apparently the last thing he got. Uh. Uh. Go up. I'm just gonna go tell him. Uh, basically, if you do experience something where it freezes, uh, all you have to do, if you're in full screen, you just uh, press the Windows button. Uh, and you go to the desktop, and then you go back on it, make sure you're not in the application, not that it's like hidden or something. You go back into it, and then it should uh, give you like at least a life for like um, five minutes or so. Actually, not five minutes, what I'm talking about. Uh, roughly around ten, ten plus seconds if you're lucky. And then it does again, so you just gotta keep doing that, trying to uh, get through the struggle. Uh, uh, to try and get through it and to the end of the game, or whatever you're doing. If you're not doing anything, you may as well just quit it and then go back on. And it's just that, because uh, I had this just before this game. Uh, I had to restart it to make sure this wouldn't happen in the game. But uh, what happens is, it seems like do that after a certain amount of time you've been on. 
and there we go apparently I won but we're doing another one of these this has just been well it was meant to be a quick one but lasted forever and ever and ever anyway thank you guys for watching this is the snap one of of the gaming tree earlier I expect more episodes like this where I play my friends <coughs> sorry about that uh, I've got a tickly throat apparently now I don't know where it comes from it just appears but yeah I've got that uh, so please check out my other videos if you like this video uh, uh, please give it a like respectively uh, if you didn't like it give it a dislike why not uh, uh, but if you do give it a dislike please up uh, Tell me what I can prove on next time. Uh, so thank you for watching. Snuff one every year. Out.